Hello, welcome to my tutorial on setting up VMware to um, run as a second PC on your main PC. For this you actually require at least 8 gig of RAM to run e efficiently, but um, at the moment I'm running 16 gigs and I'm running an 80, AMD 8350 with two AMD Sapphire 7750s in Crossfire X. Now I'll turn my computer on and I'll go into my bar settings. Now most bias is the same, so but you want to look for this option. I'll show you under standard. Okay, and uh, should be under advanced bias features. Go into there and have a look for virtualization and make sure that's enabled. And also. I'm not 100% sure if this helps, but I think there's another option. It's called IOMM. Hang on. It should be at this advanced settings as well. Yeah, IOMM support. Sorry, IOMM view. Um, enable that as well. I believe that helps okay and um, obviously save your settings now we boot into the operating system which come up on both displays Okay, now I enter my password. Hopefully it works. Okay, and I also see something on the second screen and on my main screen. Okay. On my um, AMD Vision, I have these settings, I'll just wait for it to come up. Okay, AMD Vision Center, you go into there. Bear in mind it's loading a whole lot of stuff in the background. CPU shows virtually no use though, still, but probably on a how. And plus, this is actually running off a slower boot drive, so which is not recommended, but it's um, pretty good. The CPU performance is pretty running pretty low. It's only using. 15% of the CPU on average. Okay, let's close that. Okay, and then it's AMD Control Center. Go into um, Display Management and have a look at. Hang on. Yeah, create and arrange desktops. And you want to set up your second monitor. This is the one running on my VGA port. And make sure that says extended. I'll 
obviously I don't see it because I've already done it. So this is my primary display and this is my secondary display which I've arranged to be so beyond this side. So if I move my mouse over I'll see it over here. Okay, so I'm going to close this up and then we'll load up VMware. Now you can also use um, the VMware um, display, the, the free version, which is just, you know, lets you do stuff. But I guess say what we do is we're going to open, open my machine. Okay, and my settings. I have it on memory 4 gigabytes, but it's showing 4.3, and I have it set to 4 CPUs, um, 2 primary and 2 like it's hyper threading, just a 60 gig um, virtual hard drive, it's everything standard, um, a network adapter, I have it bridged, and also I have, um, make sure you have um, VMware tools installed on your virtual machine and I also have my USB controller set to show all USB devices which is very important for the next step okay so let's load it up While it's waiting, I'll just bring up something to show. This is the um, CPU performance. It's basically showing there's no usage. And it just says that, okay, and it comes up with this warning about Uvis devices that were previously attached to the machine could not be automatically reconnected. Okay, so I just go okay to that. But you could actually tick that so it doesn't pop up. Okay, I didn't shut my machine down properly or something. So I'll just go into there and start that up. And as you can see, it's using virtually no no CPU Which is, and it's really fast and because the virtualization is actually running at the same speed as the um, main hardware there's very little slowdown okay let's boot it up let's move that over a little bit See, even if it, while it's loading, it's using virtually no, virtually very low CPU. I mean, when this is running and my wife uses that virtual machine at the moment, it's using, like, I can play Good Wars 2 or Battlefield 3, and it runs at the same speed as normal. I don't even notice it. Okay, now here's the important part. Um, over here there's a Microsoft keyboard and a Microsoft mouse. Okay, and over on mine is a Logitech and a Dell keyboard. So what I have to do is, so let me resize the window. As I go down to, to here and you'll see if I can find the mouse, there's some icons, and one will say oh, 
Here it goes. It says Microsoft Basic Optimal Mouse. So I right click that and go connect. And another one will say Microsoft Keyboard. See, that's the Microsoft Keyboard. I right click on that one and connect. Okay, and those have been connected to my virtual machine. And inside the virtual machine, it will now be detecting will now be detecting a keyboard and mouse so what I'll do is I'll drag this window over to here <coughs> make this a full screen now it looks like a regular PC and if it's all loaded up yep and it's all loaded up and now you can see I'm using this keyboard and mouse on this PC I'll load up um, IE and then I'll type something on this keyboard and that's working on that machine only if I if I move the mouse it won't control my side of it and as you can see it's running IE not doing anything stressful it's using up basically zero CPU which is only using 2% it jumps up and down but it's really not doing anything because the CPU stepping and everything and also the cores being shut down that are not in use so there you have it um, please comment rate and subscribe and enjoy my videos thank you